Hi everybody, welcome back to the Daisy Editor. And I had an interesting question um, today from someone who said, how would you go about deleting um, loot spawns from a specific area on the map? And the example he gave was, so this is um, Prison Island down on the south coast of Chernus. How would you do it so that no loot spawns, for example, say in these buildings here? And I scratched my head and thought, I haven't done a video about that. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now, there's something we need to understand about how the how the loop works in Daisy in order to, to make this happen. Um, and that is each of the buildings that are the same in Daisy, like these military barracks, they spawn in similar loot. And the loot that spawns in there is controlled by a particular file. So if we go over to, um, I'm going to show you this on my local server, so here we go. So this is the same as on your remote server, it just looks a little bit different. So we're in the um, the root directory of the server here. Obviously if you're on console you won't have all these ats, um, but you will have your mission files, MP missions. And then if we go into Daisy Offline Chernerus, um, the two files we're kind of interested in, the most important one is map group pause, but there's map group proto as well. So if we open them up, Map group proto, what that does is that for every type of object or building or structure that spawns loot, it tells the game what should spawn there. Well, sorry, what type of loot should spawn there and where it should spawn. So let, let's scroll down and find the building. Um, here, we go. here we go. So, for example, here, so at buildings that are called land factory small. Um, loot should spawn that there that is industrial and is classed as tools containers or clothes and it should spawn at these locations and the related file is map group pos so what map group pos does this lists all of the structures that should spawn loot in daisy and the type of structure it is and the orientation of that structure so for example if we just take the top line here so this is saying, look, it's saying to the game, look, there's a land mesh feed shack at these this location and at this orientation. So the game goes, all right, okay, so there's a land mesh feed shack here. So then it would look at, so if we copy that, then it would look at map group proto. proto and if we find that, it would go, okay, so in a land mesh feed shack, um, its usage name is hunting, and it should have tools, uh, containers, clothes, food, and weapons that are classed as hunting at these coordinates on that particular item relative to its absolute item, absolute location, sorry. Now, it's important to remember that these um, entries here, these don't actually spawn the building in. The building's there anyway. These are the bits that just says to Daisy, look, this is where one of these is, and you should spawn some loot here. Therefore, if we delete this line from the map group pause, that will stop loot spawning in that particular building at that particular location. Simple, yeah. However, the hard bit is finding the coordinates um, because these are very exact coordinates in here. Now, there's a number of ways that you could find the coordinates for something. You could go, for example, into the I survive map like I've got here and you could zoom all the way in and you could try clicking on these things but they don't tell you exactly the coordinates for the for the thing um, and you could you could you would get close but one way where you can find and probably hit them most of the time is in the daisy editor mod so if you're on pc and you've got daisy editor what you can do um, is oop, let's get sorted so let's go to this first one so what you can do is if you if you put your cursor over the top of a building, if you look in the bottom of the screen, you'll see it says Object Land Mill Barracks 4. And it gives you a number. Uh, but it doesn't give you give us an exact location. However, if you control click on the object, it gives you an exact copy of it, which you could place somewhere else if you wanted to. Um, but what you can then do is if you just click sort of close to it, that is now spawned in and you can see in the top right -hand corner we've got land mill barracks 4 and now what you can do is if you use for example alt 
to move it down and then you can zoom in and then very carefully with your finger on alt use the arrow keys to move the building round so it exactly matches well as best as you can the one that's already here like so what you've then got here is um, if you double click on the uh, uh, name we've got the we've got some coordinates now it's important to remember that although we may think we've got the exact coordinates we probably have then probably not completely exact but if we take the x coordinate at 2561 we know that this is a land mill barracks 4 so if we just search for 2561 and find a land mill barracks 4 then we'll be good to go so all we need to remember is 2561 so we go over to our map group pros and find 2561 find all in current document there we go and what we were looking for is land mill barracks 4 so if we look down here we can see there is land mill barracks 4 now let's see what it was it's 2561 by 306 let's go back into the editor and see how close we are 2561 by 3 okay so we had 38 but so we had the 3 so you maybe could have searched for 2561 by 3 um, and then what you would do is you would go to that line and if we just did that and just press delete that's it no nothing is going to spawn at that particular structure anymore the structure will still be there um, on the map but no loot will spawn so let, let's let's do it for another one so let's say this one so we uh, control left click that gives us the thing and then we could left click again and then we can press alt to bring it down let's zoom in if you come up with a better way of lining things up please let me know and then with our finger on alt we can use the arrow keys uh, so it needs to come down a little bit so we can press alt and use our mouse just to drag just to get it close as we can okay so that's pretty close isn't it so if we click on the little square we can see it's this one so this one is at 2574.1 so if we come out of here and we do a control F 2574 find all in current document and we know we're looking for a land mill barracks 4 because that's what that is a land mill barracks 4 so here we have group name land mill barracks 4 at 2574.13 where was our one 2574.1 so if we put in point 0.1 we would have found it if you put in too many of the coordinates you won't find it it won't be exact so all we need to do now is we just click here that is that line there and to get rid of those things just delete that line and again the structure will be there because the game spawns all the structures we can't delete structures um, on console from the map we can do using daisy editor mod using the daisy editor loader but that, that's a different video <laughs> um, but it will mean now that's that um, barracks there and that barracks there will not have any loot spawn in them at all it's a little bit finicky but it works very well I um, mean, it allows you to find the coordinates of things. So there we go. And then what you would do, obviously, you would save the map group pause. You would upload that to your um, your server, or you put it on your local server. Just restart the server. Now remember, any loot that is already there will take some time to despawn naturally, depending on its lifetime. You know, stuff just doesn't disappear straight away. Um, but it shouldn't take too long, especially if you've got people on the server, so it's constantly on um, and isn't going to sleep all the time. Okay, so there we go. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, if you have, hit like. I thought it was quite unusual because often we're trying to put more loot into the map in different places. And this is a this is a video where, where we're taking the loot out. But if you found it useful, hit like. If you want to see more the same, press subscribe. Um, and of course, I will see you again soon.